Hey there, how is everyone this evening? Um, I hope you can hear me and if, thank you for joining me. Just real quick, I wanted to say hello. If we haven't met before, I'm Kelly Howard and I have been doing, I guess, the last couple of weeks what we're calling the uh, Fit Free and Fabulous Fitness Storm. So every Monday, we'll have a, a quick chat. It's usually done 20, 25 minutes. And then on Wednesday nights, I answer your questions. So it's a Q&A session. And it only goes for as long as I have a, um, a question because I know that people are busy and I want you to be able to jump in, get what you need, and get out of here. So right now, I would love to say hello again. And as you can see, my beautiful dog is back with me this evening because she thinks that she has to work every time I'm in here. Um, so the first question I had tonight was about, and for, for my friends that are like in Australia right now, and I realize that it's cold, it's winter, but for those of us in the US in the South, it's warming up. And I live in Houston. And I know a few of the people that are on the call um, or on this event with us live in Houston and it's getting hot. And so people are asking me, how do you deal with the heat when you still want to exercise and you don't want to go to the gym? So a couple of suggestions. One of them is, um, and you'll hear me say this a little bit more. We have to get over our gym phobia. I mean, the gym is good for a few things. Like I would so much rather be outside at any given time that I could. But at the same time, you know, the gym serves a purpose. For me, it serves a purpose because I have some great weights. But um, when in doubt, you know, if you're just like, I am not going out in the heat, go get on the treadmill. Um, a couple of things though, like one thing, and I've made some notes, so let me just make sure I'm following my notes real quick. Um, one of them is that you've just got to get used to starting early or late. Like, I mean, for me, I find that it's, it's pretty easy. Like I, I get up early in the morning, so it's easy for me to start when the sun starts. But if you're not an early riser, then you might consider, you know, the flip side of it. It's a little bit warmer late in the evening, but as the sun drops, it definitely cools off. So adjust your schedule a little bit. Like it's only for the summer and, and really it's only for a short period of time. If you think about it that way. Um, a little late for it right now, but for next year, you can start getting acclimated earlier. In fact, actually, right now is a great time to get acclimated if you're in the South because it hasn't gotten as warm as it's going to get in the end of August. So, you know, start going out more. Just just do it. Just get out there. Um, you're going to have to be willing to be sweaty. Like, that is just part of the gig. Like, you just have to be willing to be dirty. And, like, a lot of times I'll do like after I do a workout or something in the morning, I'll go run errands. So what that means is that I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to be a smetty, let me say that again, a sweaty mess. And you just got to, you just got to be it. Like it's what it is. Um, so, so just get used to it. I mean, we're, it's going to cool off before you know it. Um, another thing, and this is like some little bitty things. Like one of them is if you're driving to where you're going to go out and side like maybe for me a lot of times I drive to where I'm going to go bike ride because it's not I don't my bike my riding doesn't work well from my neighborhood so when I'm driving there I do not have the air conditioning on and conversely you know for my friends that are you know on the other side of the world don't turn on the heater like I do not turn on the heater in the winter I don't turn on the air conditioning in the summer I just I am acclimating in the car while I'm getting there because otherwise when you start, you're going to be twice as miserable. So think about that. Um, another one is that even though it seems uh, counterintuitive, what, sorry, I don't even know where I went live. Excuse me. Like what a, what a brain, what a brain fart. Sorry. Um, so counterintuitive, but the reality is, is that, um, if if you're wearing like long sleeves, you're wearing a buff, you're wearing like, and for me a buff is, it's it's one of those things that covers your face. You use it when you're skiing. Uh, you can also use it in the summer to cool off. I get my buff slightly wet, pull it up on my face, um, cover up. It, it doesn't seem like it's the right thing to do, but trust me, 
cover up and you'll be better off. Um, another one is, of course, along the same lines, sun protection. Uh, and, and then water. And with your water, I mean, we can talk about water some other time because it's, it's actually a pretty deep subject. But if you're just only going out for an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half, just plain old water, that's all you need. Longer than that, then you need to add stuff to it. But, but for right now, just hour and a half, head out in the sun. Um, next thing, the next question. Any questions about that? And I will repost this video because I have a feeling that I, I went wrong, live in the wrong place. So I'm going to repost this later. Excuse me for my tech phobia. Um, the next one is, is what do you do when you're in, I'm reading, I'm reading the question. The question was, what do you do when your schedule goes wonky and you start, hang on, I'm sorry, let me just read it. I'm going to read it verbatim. What do you do when your schedule goes wonky and you start missing actions on your workout calendar? Um, things happen, like things happen. It's life. And we'll talk more about identity because like when you really, really get to the point where your thing is that, you know, you're an athlete or whatever it is that you want to call yourself, it's a little easier to miss that. But in the meantime, as you're building your schedule up and your schedule goes wonky, then just know that things happen, right? And aim for the best you can be. Aim for the best you can do and forgive yourself for those workouts that you miss. Um, I, I published my schedule earlier in the private Facebook group. And in there, I said like Monday, I don't know what happened. Like, well, I do know what happened, but um, I didn't follow through on my schedule on Monday. And so Monday was a wash, basically, total wash. And so what that meant was then I had to change up, you know, what I was doing when, and so I'm not going to hit 100% this week at all, but I'll probably hit 75, 80%, which is pretty darn good. So work with yourself, forgive yourself, and as soon as your schedule messes up, just start over and keep going. All right, and the next question that I got was, okay, the difference between, I, I know I talked on Monday about kryptonite, what I call kryptonite, which is the stuff that just like, totally derails you and um, the difference between that and bad habits or habits that don't work. So to me, um, if you have something that is totally getting in the way of your fitness goals, like it is something that just stops you in your tracks and you know it, um, whatever it is, could be lack of sleep, right? Could be not having a good night's sleep. You wake up the next day, you don't Feel like going to the gym or you don't feel like going for that run because you feel yucky and you eat a bad breakfast i mean that is that is kryptonite that's that's not a bad habit that's and and it could be but you know just go with me here for a second um another thing is that it's the big stuff that that just stops you a lot of times um food food is one of those things um another thing is work like Assuming that you have to continue working again and again and again and longer and longer instead of just giving yourself a break and going and doing the things that you say you're going to do. Habits on the other side, and they're kind of like they're the bumps along the way that we do, or let me rephrase that. Bad habits are the bumps along the way that we do when we aren't being conscious, when we're not being aware when we're not making changes that we really want to make. Like if we're a hundred percent committed to something, then we're going to figure out a way to make those changes that stick. And if we're not, if it's just kind of like, eh, you know, I'm not, I'm just going to do this thing. Then what happens is that that's when bad habits win. So next week on Monday night, we're going to be talking about habits, like deep into habits and habit tracking. Because habits can be like, a lot of times people think of habits as, oh, a bad habit. But I mean, they can be a great habit too. Like, just like 
a lot of what we do day in and day out is habit because it's unconscious, subconscious, whatever you want to call it is, it is below what we're normally thinking. And so we're just reacting instead of, or I guess we're acting instead of reacting. And so those habits can totally serve us. And but what we're going to do is we're going to talk on Monday night about habit tracking and to figure out like, what is it that, that I need to be looking at? And what is it that's working already? So I am going to let you guys go because I know that it's uh, 7.15 and in Houston time, we are the night before 4th of July. So I know a lot of people are out of town. If you have any questions, drop them below. And otherwise, I will talk to you Monday night and we're going to talk about habits. So have a wonderful evening and I will see you then. Bye-bye now.